everybody welcome back today I'm wearing my Tarte Poppy Picnic palette it's new it's a new spring thing for Tarte and I'm very very excited about it I'm very happy with the results um, it's an all matte palette and the and it has one blush the blush is a shimmer but do not be afraid of the blush and I will tell you why in just a minute but anyway it's got six matte colors and I kind of was leery of it at first because I'm like, Poppy Picnic, you know, it needs to be like hot pink and, and red or, and strawberry colors and bright colors. But it's so wearable that I don't mind that they named it something that doesn't really match the description of it at all. But anyway, so here's how it turned out today. Um, I think it turned out really well. I love the colors and, of course, I love the texture, you know, tart super pigmented, super soft. Even on the light colors, they put a lot of pigment in. So I had a really good time working with this today. It was really easy, um, blended really well. So I'm really happy with it. And here's how I did it. I'm so excited about this palette, um, this Poppy Picnic Tarte palette. So ready to do this. Look at this beautifulness here. Okay, so I'm ready to do this, but before I even start, let me show you the wonderfulness of this new brush cleaner. I just ordered this on my new Sephora haul, and I only got the small one because I wanted to try it before I really invested, you know, 30 bucks in the full size, or 38, however much it is, and this is just, it's amazing. It's life-changing. Um, <laughs> anyway, they're out of the full size, so I'm going, you know, I'm on their email wait list or whatever. Email me when you get it back in stock, whatever. I hope that they do so before Tuesday, because Tuesday is when the um, sale ends, and I won't get 15% off anymore after that. So, they're usually pretty good about restocking pretty quickly. But this is called Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics Makeup Brush Cleaner. It's amazing. Um, I cleaned a bunch of my makeup brushes with it um, yesterday and loved it. And I'm going to show you just how awesome of a job it does here. Let me get one that's really dirty. Okay. <clears throat> this is a Sigma Blending E25 brush. And it's white. So anytime you get any, any um, eyeshadow on it, it's going to just discolor right away. So what I do with this stuff, it is completely no rinse and no dry time. Can you believe that? It's amazing. So I just take it and I'm going to hold it against a towel and spritz a little bit on there. Here, I'll show you. I hold it against a towel and usually I'd have this, hold this down, you know, and I'm just going to spritz a little bit on there and maybe turn it over and spritz a little more. And I'm going to feels pretty wet, so yeah. And I'm just going to clean it like that. Just And it says you can do it again if you notice it's still a little bit, you know, staining. And I'm going to be going through this product. That little spray bottle is not going to last. I can tell you right now. That's why I'm so ready for the, uh, the full size to come into stock. And so I'm going to clean it some more. And now nothing's coming off on this towel, so I'm going to assume that this thing is pretty much clean. And look at it. Completely clean. Completely clean. And it dries in like two seconds. Okay, I would say down here is still a little, little moist, but these ends are completely dry. So like a couple more minutes and it's going to be completely dry. It's like it evaporates and you don't have to rinse it off or anything. Amazing. And look at the look at the cleanliness of it. Amazing. So, I'm going to be buying a large bottle of that. Okay, to start with on this palette, I want to do uh, peach. I want to I want to pretty much use every color on here. I think it's going to work out that I'm going to be able to do that. So, I'm going to start with um, this peach here on my lid. That's going to be so pretty. And I'm probably going to use this brush. Um, another thing about that Cinema Secret stuff, it does have a vanilla smell, but it's not strong. It's not like, bleh, you know, and it's not like, I don't think it stays in the brush at all after you've cleaned it, so I'm not worried about the smell at all. It doesn't bother me, so, um, but it's just a real light vanilla smell. So, I've already primed my lids. I'm going to put on this peach as my lid color and I think I will put it 
just sort of in the middle of my lid so as to not and then I'll put a color here and here I've been doing that a lot lately and I appreciate I appreciate that look on me so so let's get some of that on sort of a flat brush because we're just doing a lid oh look at it wow it is pigmented I put way I put enough for like five eyeballs on that brush just now it is pigmented Wow. I'm going to go ahead and do my inner corner, sort of. And I'm going to use this not quite so vanilla, but kind of an off vanilla-y color here. Whatever you want to call that. If things look a little dodgy, it's because I'm experimenting with my camera and my mount on my ring light and all of that. Don't know if I have it quite down yet. You know, I never really know these things until I watch myself back later, but I'm going to do this on my inner corner, and this is that, not the lightest shade, but the second. It's got a bit of a peach tone to it here. These colors are all matte on the shadows. The blush is a vibrant, beautiful shimmer, so... Um, and let me go in and blend. I have drag marks and everything else, so I'm going to go in and blend. I really have enjoyed this brush. This is a um, Real Techniques. Besides the fact that it is the most beautiful purple in the world, this dense, packed brush here, it really, it's a great blender. Okay. So I'm going to do a crease and an outer corner. <coughs> So for crease, I think I'm going to use that little blending brush I just I just cleaned off. It's completely dry now, just completely usable, amazing. Okay, crease is going to be Uh-huh, yeah. Crease is going to be this color right here. Dark brown, but it's got a a bit of a plum aspect to it. And I'm going to do it kind of light, I think. So pigmented that once again I got five eyeballs worth on there. Wow. This is going to turn out pretty. Wow, I love this. I'm loving this. I'm putting this one on kind of dark because I'm going to do a transition and I'm kind of trying to blend it as I'm going, see, blend it upwards, blur that line kind of, and I'm going to get the other eye over here to catch up with it here in a minute. Okay, I ended up going dark, darker on the crease than I had planned, but I, I'm going to transition that and that's why I went darker. These Sigma brushes are great, and I've got an upcoming review on the Sigma brushes. I just have to sit down and edit it. <laughs> we have a backlog of reviews and tutorials. I have about five. <sighs> it's just, it takes so long to edit them and tag them and all of that stuff, and it takes a while to get them out, and then the uploading, of course, takes hours. Okay, I'm going to put my corner... Um, God, I'm so excited. Look how pretty it's coming out already. Let me uh, put my corner in. <clears throat> I'm going to get just my little MUA brush for that. I think that'll be okay. And I'm going to do this darkest plum. This is definitely an eggplanty brown here. I'm blend all of these drag marks that you see out here in a little bit. It won't continue to look like that too much. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh, I love this. Hopefully soon I will get this makeup room cleaned up and organized to my satisfaction. And then I can give you a tour 
I've bought many new things to go in here. <laughs> many fun things. I'm kind of packing it on dark because I'm going to go in and blend and when you blend stuff tends to disappear. Pack it on dark and then go in and blend and it will look better. You can always add more if it disappears too. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Okay, next I'm going to do um, a highlight. And I am going to actually end up using, and this is unusual for me, every color in this palette today. Um, I'm going to use this lightest vanilla for my highlight. Okay, transition. Transition. need a small brush for transitioning, I think, when you don't have a huge eyelid like I do. Some people have huge eyelids. I'm going to transition with this caramel color right here. See, I used all the colors. Amazing. My little tiny Sigma blending brush E36. Got a really nice Sigma brush review. Need to edit it and get it out there. Okay. Transition just sweeps through here and we blend as we go. Blend, 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 blend. I like it. I like it. I love it. Just want the highlight right in here. That's what I want. Okay, blend time. I didn't blend as I went this time. I don't know. I just felt like it would be better a better deal to blend at the end. Get rid of those um, drag marks and blend this dark color in real good. And blend. Okay, now I'm going to line underneath with this little stubby, smudgy brush. And I'm going to use this deepest eggplant in the outer corner and then this lighter color in the middle underneath. It's so a lighter, lighter of the two darks, really. It's not a light color, for sure. <clears throat> and go about that far, I think. I'm going to blend that a little better in a minute. And then I'm going to put the lighter, more rusty. This is like a real chocolate brown is what this is. Okay, here's this new blush in this palette. So cool. I have these new fan brushes. These are just Eco Tool fan brushes. Um, but I, I'm putting my blush on with these these days. And I really enjoy it. It gives you just really good control. Um... And just a really more subtle look on there. Besides, it's kind of fun to, I don't know, it's fun to play with a fan brush. Oh, I love it. Wow, that is a good color. It's not coming out real shimmery on my cheek. It's not shimmer shimmer. I thought it might be a little too shimmer. It's not coming out that way. Wow. It's really subtle and it's not too bright either. It's kind of a... <clears throat> kind of a... um neutrally not very screaming peach or very pink okay i got a new go another new go-to blush you know i'm just discovering new and wonderful brush blushes about every two minutes these days okay i love it so as you can see i loved me some palette today i loved me some tart today um and this blush is 
it's a shimmer in the package but don't be afraid of it don't think it's too shimmery because I put it on and it is really subtle really really subtle now any shimmer you see up here is from my Makeup Forever sculpting duo that I have. I used the highlight part of that up here. So that's where you're getting a little bit of a reflection. But the actual color itself is, the actual blush itself is so subtle. Um, I'm amazed. I think that's going to be a new go-to blush for me. I'm really amazed at it. It's not super peach. I thought it was going to be too warm, but it's not. And it's not super saturated pink either. Let me put a little bit more on for you so you can actually see. But it's so subtle. And I'm loving my fan brushes for my blush these days. I'm loving it. I'll put just a little bit more on each side and you can see it's just real subtle. This is a nice, nice palette. See, no no gleam, no shimmer, just, you know, rosy perfection. I just, I love this blush. I like the palette, too. The eyeshadows are all, as you see in my tutorial today, I used every color of the eyeshadows. I never, ever, never do that. Never ever get to do that with a palette, but this one is another one of these palettes that's everything's real compatible on it. Everything works really well together. Or you could pick a side and just do a side, you know, just three here and then the three here. I did the whole thing. Um, really compatible. Nothing stands out as, as weird or, you know, off color. Love it. Um, just love the palette and I was thinking I wasn't going to you know because I thought Poppy Picnic it needs to be pink it needs to be bright I'm not gonna like it it's just gonna be a dull palette it's not a dull palette I I like it enough I'm definitely gonna keep it I was kind of thinking at first you know I may not like that blush I may not like the colors they're kind of just all brown blah they're not um, I think it's just too compatible for me to throw away. Uh, not throw away. Too compatible for me to get rid of, for sure. So, I love it. So, as you saw, I did um, a little review of this Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. It's so fantastic. I've got to get more. Let me clean another brush for you. It's so much fun to clean your brushes. You know, my cold is still hanging on, by the way. But anyway, um... <clears throat> It's so much fun. Who wants to clean their brushes? I hate it. This makes it fun. <laughs> so once again, I've dirtied up this beautiful white brush, you know. Let's clean it again. I mean, I'm not going to clean my brushes every time I use them. But this sure makes it easier to keep up with your brush cleaning. And we all know from recent news stories that makeup brushes can transmit some nasty bugs. So, this makes it easier to keep up with cleaning your brushes more often. You know, you put it off and put it off and put it off because it's so much not fun to clean your brushes. It's so much not fun. Um, but this makes it so easy. And I'm going to buy, like, the gallon jug, which I think is, like, 38 bucks on, um, on uh, Sephora. I'm going to buy that just as soon as they get some more in. Look, completely clean. Smells faintly vanilla-ish. Uh, it has like a vanilla mint, uh, just a hint of mint, a vanilla mint smell, and completely dry. I mean, you could use it right now. That's what this is for. It's for makeup artists that are working on a whole room full of people, and they have to get through them quickly, and they can't be drying their, washing their brushes and drying them and all that stuff. They need a quick, instant cleanser like this. So, I love it. So also today, I wore my new Clinique Bear Pop Pop Lip Color Plus Primer. I like it. Um, it's so comfortable. It's very moisturizing feeling. It's a very moist feeling. Almost feels like a gloss. It's so moist. Um, wearability is pretty good. I've had this on for a while. And um, it does have that subtle shimmer. Clinique, a lot of times in their lipsticks, will put the subtlest, goldish, goldish shimmer. I don't know how they make it so subtle, but um, you can tell this is a Clinique lipstick just by looking at it. There's that that real faint, subtle, golden shimmer to it. Um, it's very moisturizing. It feels really nice. 
and I think it's a pretty good opaque, the opacity is pretty good on it. It's not really showing my lips through very much, which I think that's the whole primer of it, um, the whole idea of the primer in the lipstick. I like these. I may end up getting a couple more. There were a couple more colors that I liked in the color range, so I will uh, let you know if I pick up some more of these. Upcoming reviews, I went ahead and ordered that ombre bronzer from It Cosmetics today, and it comes with the most awesome fan brush, the softest, I think they call it Heavenly Lux fan brush. I ordered the set from QVC because with QVC, a lot of times on It Cosmetics, you get the product and you get a, a matching brush with it for a really, really good deal. So I went ahead and ordered that. Whenever that comes in, I'm going to show it to you and I'll let you see my wonderful brush. I think the brush alone is like 48 bucks, and I got the brush and the bronzer, which is a big, the bronzer's big, for like 40, 40, for 40. I mean, that is a steal. QVC has steals when you can get them. I think what I've decided to do um, on upcoming reviews, okay, I think what I've decided to do, that giant Sephora haul that I had, and I got that giant box of cleansers, such a deal on that. Such a deal. I think what I decided to do, I opened that up today and I separated all the cleansers out and I studied them and I took a good long look at them. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a different cleanser every night. And at the end of all of them, I'm going to make a review that's just those cleansers and how they operated and how they acted. And tonight, I'm excited. I'm hopefully going to use my Caudalie micellar water. I'm very excited about that. I love micellar waters anyway. And then half these cleansers are oil cleansers. I love oil cleansers because I'm so dry and they make me feel so smooth and, and hydrated when I use oil cleansers. So tonight I'm going to use one of the cleansers, probably the Bosha and uh, the, there's a Bosha cooling cleanser, cooling oil cleanser. I'm probably going to use that tonight and then use the micellar water sort of afterwards. A lot of times after I do a cleanser, I will use the a micellar water afterwards just to make sure I have everything off. So those are my upcoming reviews and I have a bunch of other stuff I filmed. I just have to have time to sit down and edit it. I'm trying to do my newer stuff for my Sephora haul first and then I will get to some of my older stuff, my older videos where I have palettes from a, a while back. I'm going to get to some of those as soon as I can, but I'm kind of trying to crank through my newer stuff right now. And I just realized I forgot to put on my false eyelashes. Oh boy. Okay, anyway, I'm dying to review these Clinique ColourPop blushes. Dying to get to those. Dying to get to this Tarte blush and bronzer. Um, the, the other Tarte palette, the Showstopper palette. Dying to get to all of that. So, the Great Cleanser review will be coming soon, but that's all I have for you today. I can't wait to use my new cleanser tonight. Bye-bye.